again i'm on the main window by the way i can hide this some of these options can can be hidden as soon as i click pro button uh, there is a few tabs um, some overview information what is possible uh, and uh, pro configuration so over here we can disable auto zoom we can disable or enable address search so the one which you have typed uh, we can switch on to the heat map if if you are using this functionality and it the system will display um, basically where are our push pins are more concentrated so in case you you are using this functionality uh, also there is a large data set information this is more uh, so for the uh, more advanced setting let's say if you have hundreds of thousands push pins uh, in a database or even more than that and you want to display all of them so in some cases uh, we've seen people having a lot of data in very small um, in a few miles radius so it could be hundreds of thousands but within the really a small place so in this case this could be useful but be mindful because um how we uh, how the data is processed uh, uh this is all executed on your computer so the the good thing is that se from security standpoint you are not sharing any information with any uh, with anyone all you do is you just get the longitude and latitude shown on the google maps but the information is not shared with us or not is not shared with google so all of your information stays with you but the downside is that everything is executed on your local computer uh, so um, if you have really large data sets it could start behave a little bit slowly slow and uh, you need to be sure that it's um, you are not um, how to say you are not overloading it so it will be impossible for you to use it so uh, we are recommended to use about 100,000 up to 300,000 um, data points at once um, the, the good thing is that the closer you're getting to them when you actually zoom and operate on really low level your in majority cases you don't need that huge data sets to be loaded preloaded in your browser cache okay so let's go next one uh, i can disable the uh, disable cluster information i can disable the navigation controls the google maps label so we we'll see just i'll give it flavor how it looks like and um, polygon controls the one which you have here you can actually create and apply filters so let's say you obviously can create some custom shapes uh, let's say it could be your territories and also apply them yep um, so all of this is configurable here um, you can hide dynamic labs labels you can uh, show right radius or disable that you can also display all ready so at once so let me show it to you how it looks like uh, in some cases it's valuable so um, if you were looking for intersection like or coverage uh, for, for uh, let's say wi-fi or mobile signal um, it could be helpful um, sec yeah uh, this is uh, by the way you, you can also preset uh, the configuration here to switch to miles and kilometers uh, let's go to the google places uh, from google places we can retrieve any type of uh, google place point of interest type um, just by adding any name so let's say um, i'll use stadium oh for example starbucks uh, so it google has it as a category you could tell it by this uh, this magnifying glass and so let's use it 
and uh, it is automatically added or you can actually add just one specific place again i'll use the the same address which we have there so this system allows me to use that one but obviously it will be not as relevant to you maybe i don't know in some particular cases you might be willing to display some specific places um but yeah generally will uh, most of people use uh category so let's go back and uh, start back or let's say parks or parking or parks yeah okay next one uh, custom layers uh, a lot of people are asking about this uh, you can use your json or actually command uh, this is the standard which you use for with google earth so if you are using those tools uh, you know what i'm talking about uh, and as soon as you enable them uh, it will automatically put a layer and you've seen the colors this changed on top of it it could be uh, any type not necessarily to be a shape form it could be just lines for instance uh, i know your pipeline or maybe some uh, pipe network and skipping to the next part uh, what else is available if we so to reach out support you can chat directly from here you can uh, email you you can use the website uh, also some of the features which i've uh, like more on the light side is the ability to add tooltip so tooltip is actually the information that will be displayed when we click in on each of these points so let's say i'm adding region obviously i want to see the property name um okay. which is the Older. and then oh, let's say i want to see the city name so each time when i navigate to, uh, to a place i see the property name region city it could be anything any type of value also there is a possibility to display a label on top of it so let's say i want to see the property name all i need to do is drop this field what will happen it shows me the property name when i zoom in i can see that this properties 1b layfair drive uh this one sec somewhere close yeah colony park boulevard um so yeah um uh, that's pretty much a quick overview of the functionality uh if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out through this support chat that we have here and any comments and recommendations we're happy to help and uh, uh, and answer any of the requests about the functionality thank you very much for your time have a nice day